Sir Isaac Newton saw the first comet in the sky observed by telescope. He used the Great Comet of 1680 to calculate its trajectory to determine if his theory on gravitation was true or not. His calculations were so precise, they not only confirmed his universal theory of gravitation, but the astronomer, geophysicist, mathematician, and meteorologist Edmund Halley, who also studied comets, used Newton's equation to help him determine the orbits of 24 other comets and predict where they would appear in the night sky. They all lined up perfectly. But now it gets really interesting. Later came Johannan Franz Encke's which the comet of 1786 is named after. He calculated the trajectory of this comet using Edmund Halley's prior calculations going back in time, when he noticed something strange around 5,000 years ago for this comet. The numbers show its orbit was not the same as it is now. Something drastic must have happened. Writing in Frontiers, the magazine of particle physics and astronomy research, Dr. Bill Napier, an astronomer, at Armoth Observatory and Dr. Victor Klub from Oxford says that all the evidence points to a comet hitting the Earth 5,000 years ago. They suggest that it was this comet that we can still observe passing Earth every 3.3 years. And what we observe is actually just a remnant along with its associated stream of meteors of the original comet. And it was this original piece of the comet, a larger fragment that was shed which struck Earth and caused the Great Flood of Noah's Day. The impact location of the strike is Burkle Crater, located in the Indian Ocean. Regarding the impact site, scientists say, this giant mother comet is thought to have started disintegrating as recently as 5,000 years ago. They even describe the event after the impact with amazing mental visuals. They state, at this time, and for some millennia afterwards, the night sky would have been lit up by a bright light caused by dust particles, comet fragments, and firework displays of meteor storms. The comet passing over the Earth and impacting is what caused the Earth to crack like an egg, dropping the continental shelf and causing the fountains of the great deep to break forth. The waves of the tsunami bombarding the newly formed continents and eventually burying all life. And the water from the comet's tail saturated the upper atmosphere, causing torrential rainfall for 40 days and nights. According to the book of Genesis, in the 600th day of Noah's life, in the second month, in the 17th day of the month, that same day when the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened and the rain was upon the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. William Winston, who succeeded Isaac Newton as professor at Cambridge, stated that a comet passing close or impacting earth explains these phenomenon perfectly. The vaporous tail of the comet saturated the upper atmosphere with excess water, which led to a cataclysmic rainfall. The gravitational pull of the comet, he said, is what fractured the planet's crust. And now we have physical, historical, and mathematical evidence to prove it.